Hello everyone, I'm Varun Kumavat. I'm the member of Term of Community and today we are going to learn how to make a HTTP server using Node.js. For that, we need to understand what is HTTP server first. So let's do that. Great. I'll of course provide all the links below in the description. Let's try to understand the definition of the web or HTTP server. Okay. The web server or HTTP server is a server software that implements the request response model using the World Wide Web and the HTTP protocol. Okay. The HTTP server processes incoming network requests from clients over the HTTP protocol and serves contents over the internet. Okay. Now we need to know what is actually HTTP. What's the HTTP protocol they are talking about? The HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol is an application layer protocol that is used to virtually transmit files and other data on the World Wide Web, the www, whether they are HTML files, images, query results or anything else. Getting it? We now understood what's HTTP server and what's the HTTP protocol. Now let's try to build it locally using Node.js. For that I have the code written, I have written it myself, I will show it to you how you can replicate it. I will also provide the uh, github repo for the code. Okay. What you have to do, um, just a second, okay. on my left hand side, uh, okay. see I have created a new folder named node.js server. Okay. Inside node.js server I need to create a file named server.js, you can name it anything, you can also name it index.js, it's just the naming convention. Alright, inside server.js on line number one one uh, on line number one, I have written constant HTTP is equal to require HTTP. I'm requiring this HTTP module, uh, but of course first I have to uh, install it using npm. For that, I have to run several commands. I'll just show it to you. Uh, okay, so first of all, what you have to write? First of all, you have to write npm init minus y. This will install npm in your in your uh, folder, whichever you have created, Node.js server. It will install the package.json here. Okay. After this command, what you have to do? You have to simply install this HTTP module I was talking about. For that, you have to write npm i HTTP. As simple as that. It will directly install HTTP module in the folder. Okay. I guess line number one is clear. Constant HTTP is equal to require HTTP. Line number two, I'm mentioning the port. I'm creating this port variable. Constant port is equal to, I'm setting it to 3000. My server should run on localhost 3000. After that line number 3, constant host is equal to localhost. Alright, localhost and colon 3000. This is where my server should run. After that on line number 5, what I am doing, I am creating a HTTP server. Constant server is equal to HTTP.createServer. It's a method available on HTTP, create server method. Inside that I am passing my callback function with of course rec and rest request and response as my parameters. What I am doing inside the callback function, rest.write hat 200. This means I am uh, setting my header and setting my status code to 200. And on line number seven, rest.end, this is my server. I'm simply sending a text message back to the client. Okay. I'm ending here. I'm ending my request here. I'm sending this response. Okay. So the server part is clear, I guess. From line number 10, server.listen, port, host, and again, a callback function. This simply means that um, I, I need my server to listen. Okay. For that, these are the parameters I'm passing, port, host, and of course, a callback function. Inside the callback function on line number 11, I've written the simple log statement which will just log this line listening on port 3000 on my console. Okay. To test it, I'll simply write node server.js listening on port 3000. We have it on our, our console. Now let's just check it here on my browser. Okay. I'll refresh it. Localhost 3000, I'm on localhost 3000 and I'm getting this response. This is my server. That means our server is running, is up and running. That was all I guess. Thank you.